Unit Two, Section A, Exercise Three. So, who have we got here, Karen? This is Alsha, and she's eight years old. She's beautiful, isn't she? Yes, she is. But stay there. Don't come in the enclosure. She can be very dangerous, especially if she sees someone she doesn't know. You can probably see she has very long, straight claws. They aren't particularly sharp, but they can cause serious injury. They use them to fight and to help them climb trees. These animals are good climbers. Okay, that's useful to know. Can you describe her for our listeners? Of course, she's got dark brown, glossy fur. In the wild, she would usually live in the mountains, so she needs a thick coat to protect herself. She's about 1.8 meters in length. She's on all fours at the moment, but when she stands up on her back legs. You can see her true height. And what about those paws? They're huge. Yes, they're around thirty centimeters long. This type does a lot of digging, you see, so they need such big paws and strong muscles in their legs and back. And what about her head? She has a large head that is covered in fur, quite small ears, and when they open their mouths. You can see their two large front teeth or fangs. These animals have a varied diet, eating meat, fish, and fruit, and their teeth are suited to that. I notice that she doesn't have any whiskers. Is that normal? Yes, it is. They don't have whiskers. Whiskers are used to locate objects, detect movement, and sense things. But these animals use their extraordinary noses. To do some of these things. And what about her tail? Lots of people ask about that. Unlike animals such as cats, monkeys, and mice, who use their tails to help with balance, these animals are too big for that. But they do have tails. They're just quite small. You might see it when she turns round. <laughs>